This is Miss Park, and today I wanted to do a read aloud on some important, important things about the U.S. symbol. What is something that comes to your mind when we say U.S. symbols? Mm -hmm, some of you has got it right. Sometimes we think about the United States flag as one of the major symbols that represent the United States. So today I'm going to do a read aloud on U.S. symbols. Ta-da! Which is a which one of them is a United States flag. Let's get started. So this is our first page and it has table of contents. This tells us exactly where we need to go um, to read about a certain fact about the United States flag. First, it will tell us about what is the United States flag and it will go to flag history. And this says fly the flag. That's an interesting title. I wonder what that page will be about. And it has a glossary where it tells us important words that we need to know in order to understand the book. So you guys get ready and let's get started. Oops. What is the United States flag? The United States flag is a symbol for freedom and unity. So what's freedom? Like, yay, we're free. We don't have to be told by anyone to do anything. We, we can do what is best and safe for us. That's freedom. And unity is where we make a pact. We stay together and we support each other when we need to help. The flag is red, white, and blue. It has 13 stripes and 50 stars. How many stripes? 13 and 50 stars. Have you guys seen these flags being hung outside a building or a window? Can you guys give me a thumbs up if you guys have seen them? Mm -hmm. I've definitely seen, I definitely have seen these flags being hung outside an important or historical building or someone's house or at a school. Mm -hmm. People hang these flags outside to show their respect and their love for their country. The stripes are for the first 13 colonies and the stars are for the 50 states. So boys and girls, remember how I said that there are 13 stripes, the red stripes, and there are 50 stars? The third the 13 stripes represents the colonies. So way, way back, long, long time ago, before, remember, United States is made of different states like California, Texas, New York, Florida. Before they were called states, there were 13 colonies. So colonies are the same uh, meaning as states, but before they had fewer states. Flag history, I think this page is going to tell us about some history about the flag. The first flag was made in 1776. Whoa, that's a long time ago. It had 13 stars and stripes. Betsy Ross, the woman right here sitting down holding the flag, was the first flag maker. Mm. The flag meant the U.S. was free from British rule. So I guess back in, back in the days, long, long time ago, U.S. was being controlled by the British people. And when they were free, they hung, they, they flagged, they swished their flag around to show that they were free and they could finally be a country on their own. With the country grew. With each new state, a star was added to the flag. Mm -hmm. So remember, remember how many how many stars there are. It represents how many states we have. It's fifty. So right now in the United States, there are fifty states, and therefore there are fifty stars. Mm -hmm. There are names for the U.S. flag. So there's been names before. The stars and stripes. The Star Spangled Banner, Old Glory, the Red, White, and Blue. These were some of the names that they called the flag, but now we just call it the U.S. flag. Oh, fly the flag. I was really wondering what this page will be about. The flag flies at schools, libraries, and government buildings. Mm -hmm. June 14th is Flag Day. 
Americans fly the flag proudly. So June 14th is coming up, you guys. So they wave their flag and they fly the flag saying, I'm, a, I'm proud to be in this country. I respect the country. Americans respect the U.S. flag. They fly it high. I see many, many people flying the U.S. flag high up in the air to show their respect. The end and some glossaries, um, colonies, areas controlled by another country. So before it became an official state of the United States, they called it the colonies. And respect. You guys know what respect means. It's one of the four rules at Lakewood. You have to be respectful. And freedom, you're free. And symbol is something that stands for something else. So the U.S. flag is a very important symbol for the U.S., for the United States. And you guys know what libraries are. And a unity, when a group of people agree and they respect each other and they stay with each other. Mm -hmm. So, boys and girls, we just learned about the United States flag, which is a very important symbol for, to the United States. To, so, so to show respect, and to show that we are proud of our country, I challenge you guys to fly the flag or hold up the flag and take a picture and upload it on Class Dojo. If you do not have a flag at home, Miss Park doesn't have a flag at home, I would get a piece of paper and draw the flag with how many stripes? 13 stripes and 50 stars. Just draw it on a piece of paper and take a picture with it and upload it on Class Dojo for me to see. If you need to know what the US flag looks like, I can show it to you one more time. It looks like, it looks like this. Mm -hmm. It has 13 stripes and 50 stars. So if you have a flag at home, you can hold it and take a picture and upload it on Class Dojo for me to see. That's your challenge. And if you don't have a flag at home, that is totally fine. Just draw it on a piece of paper and take a picture with it to show your respect for the country. I hope you have fun. And I am so excited to see the amazing pictures that I will see on Class Dojo. Bye.